beautiful YouTube friends, Letty here, Living Life with Letty. Welcome to my channel. Sorry it's been a while. I've had so many things happen to me in the last couple of weeks, but I, you know, I've decided uh, I need to make videos. I love making videos. I have just been under the weather. This is not an accident. I did not have an accident. This is, my neck is just uh, giving me trouble and this helps to keep it stable. Um, I have so many things to tell you and some of it was bad news, but I've already taken care of it. I hate to post videos with nothing but bad news. So when I have something bad, I try to solve it before I tell you about it. So my first uh, bad news is that on probably the hottest day of the summer, my AC in my house decided to die. It completely died. And it wasn't a shock to me. I knew that I was having trouble with it for the last couple of summers. I have a friend who's, uh, he knows how to repair air conditioners and every summer he would come once or twice and change something outside in the compressor or inside and make it work again. But the last time he fixed it, he said, you know, uh, your units are on their last leg. I don't know how many more times I'll be able to fix it for you. So, um, like I said, on the hottest day, it was like 105. Uh, it, all of a sudden I'm sitting here and uh, it, it, I could hear it going, but it was blowing warm air. And I thought, oh no, here we go. So I did call a couple of places and the prices were just way out of, you know, way too much. And then, so my friend uh, referred me to these uh, really nice two guys that just opened up their own air conditioning company. And because they're new and they're trying to get a customers, they gave me a really good deal and they did an excellent job. And uh, they did it all, um, you know, I called them and they were here the next day. They assessed the situation, gave me a price. Uh, I said, okay, fine. And they were back the next day and they fixed it. And I have cool air again because I spent about four or five days with no air conditioning. It was awful. It was terrible. It was 95 degrees in this house at one point. And um, a friend did bring me a portable unit for my bedroom uh, that I used. Uh, it's the kind that you put the holes out the window and that did cool my bedroom enough to where it was comfortable but the rest of the house was just unbearable so I do have that situation fixed and um, thank God I had enough credit to where you know I I didn't have to come up with money that I didn't have so uh, I was able to charge it and now I'm gonna make payments which you know what are you gonna do you gotta do what you gotta do, right? Uh, and please, I, I appreciate everyone who has uh, contributed to my channel, but I'm not telling you these things because I want you to send me money. I do not like to ask for money. I am very, very bashful when it comes to that. And I didn't even wanna do this video because I didn't want people to think, oh, you know, she's saying that because she wants people to send her money because that is not the case. If you want to contribute, fine, but I am not asking for any money. So that was the first bad news, good news, because I already have it taken care of and there's nothing nicer than to sit here and be comfortable. Uh, my second bad news is that uh, I've been having terrible, terrible neck pain. Uh, I couldn't even move my neck. It was so, so uncomfortable on top of being hot. And then, you know, I can't even move my neck. I just, I mean, I, I, I was just really, really uncomfortable. And so I, I called my PCP doctor. <clears throat> she, she sent me seven pain pills, seven. Well, you know, the pain pills didn't do anything because I think this is like inflammation due to the arthritis. But so then I did have an appointment with my rheumatologist and he gave me, you know, these doctors, they just want to pill you up and not really do anything. So he gave me some muscle relaxants, which helped somewhat. I was able to sleep comfortably, but then when I would wake up, I, you know, my neck would still be so stiff and painful. So I, uh, they did take x-rays and he said, I have degenerative disc or something. And he wants me to go for an MRI. 
and I'm um, not in a hurry to go do all that because so then I asked the girl, I said, uh, you know, I, I feel like when I hold my head up tight, it doesn't hurt. So should I wear a neck brace? Do you have one? And she says, no, uh, I don't know if you can or not. I'll ask the doctor, but you can order one on Amazon. For crying out loud, guys, this is an orthopedic group, an orthopedic group. They have orthopedic surgeons of all kinds. You think they would have a neck brace they can give their patient? Well. I was going to order one from Amazon. They're like $8. It's, it's very comfortable because it's foamy. However, it was going to take like a week and a half to get here from Amazon. So, uh, you know, I'm luckily my daughter, <clears throat> the one that lives near Houston, she has Amazon Prime, which they deliver it the next day. So she went ahead and ordered it. Bless her heart. She paid for it and everything. And I got it the next day. And it has really, really helped. I, I wear it. Uh, like during the day when I want to do things and I want to move around because the thing is if I'm not moving if I'm just laying there it doesn't hurt it's when I'm moving around and making you know movements that it's like excruciating but <clears throat> with the muscle relaxants and with this it is getting better so uh, I think I think it's just another flare-up when you have rheumatoid arthritis, and those of you that do, you know that we get flare-ups in different parts of the body for no rhyme or reason. And then it'll last a week or two or whatever, and then all of a sudden it goes away, but it pops up somewhere else, unfortunately. But anyway, those are the things that have been happening to me. And um, I love you all. I didn't mean to desert you. I thought I'd need to sit down and do a video Today I'm feeling much better than I have in, a, in, in the last couple of weeks. So I decided I'm gonna go ahead and do a video. I started a new hobby, guys, because I was going insane, totally insane. So I started this new hobby. Some people call it steampunk art. Some people call it multimedia art. And some people call it multidimensional art. But it's basically the same. The difference is in the colors that you may use. The steampunk art is more on the gothic side, a darker type of art. Uh, I like the concept, but I like it a little bit lighter, not so gothic-like. You know, uh, nothing wrong with it. I think it's beautiful. It's just not to my taste. So I'm going to be doing a video on, I already did one project which I'm gonna show you right so now. This is my very first project. I got a long ways to go, but for my first project, I'm pretty happy. Um, the little flower up on the right-hand corner are five pennies, and I had a little flower, so I stuck that. And then I bought uh, these wheels uh, at uh, Hobby Lobby and the bike. The bike was 99 cents, it's wood. Uh, that over there, Right here is an earring. As you know, I lose a lot of earrings, <laughs> you know me. So I have some earrings, ones that I can use. And there I have more wheels. This right here at the bottom is a cap to a prescription bottle. And then I put a wheel on it and I've got more wheels here. And then um, I did some texturizing, as you can see. And so, you know, it's for my first project, I've got to say that I'm very happy. I'm going to start a new project and I'm going to do a video on that. And then I'm going to start a new project with the Eiffel Tower uh, at the Hobby Lobby. They have all these beautiful uh, little things made out of wood and they're like 99 cents. And I mean, I just, oh my God, I'm in heaven now because I found something to keep my mind occupied, to keep my mind from getting, you know, all these dark thoughts that I was getting again, which I'm prone to having when uh, I have too much time to think. And so now this is keeping me busy. Um, this art you can do with whatever, uh, things around the house, you can get really creative with it. So I'm really excited. So uh, until then, until my next video, I will see you on my next video and I will show you step by step how I'm doing this art. I'm learning, I'm learning from YouTube videos myself. I'm not an expert by any means, but I think that the more I do them, the better I'm gonna get. And I already told my family, you're all getting one for Christmas, whether you like it or not, and you're all gonna hang it somewhere 
because I'm personally going to come to your house and hang it. So anyway, thank you so much. I love you all. I love you so much. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for subscribing. And until then, my friends, may the sun shine on you today and every day, especially on our solar panels. Bye-bye.